Hey there, lovely soul. This is Infinity and welcome to this May 2021 energy update about the Stargate. So we are officially, what time is it? 12.08. Really? <laughs> really? It's 12.08 on the 8th. Check it out as I record this. I had no idea that's what time it was. <laughs> uh, we are five, six, seven, eight. Just got into our fourth day. Uh, well, depending where you are in the world. But here I am in uh, Southern California. And it is just after midnight on the 8th. And so we've had a few days of this Stargate. It's interesting this time around, I wasn't guided to get into an energy update for the Stargate at the beginning of the Stargate on the 5th. Rather, I was told to wait and I was going to get guidance as to when to do an energy update. And so that download came earlier this evening. Uh, bef came in right before I was guided to lay down and then... When I woke up, it was the first thing that I thought about. So I just got done. If we can see these cards, some of these cards here. I just got done doing a, uh, what I call the behind the scenes. I think I did the same thing last month too. Pretty sure where uh, when I'm guided to do an energy update for the month or Stargate or whatever. This is specifically for the Stargate though. But for the Stargate or the month, um, I'm guided to pull some cards. And instead of just doing that privately and kind of tuning into all that stuff, I've been guided to make a video of me doing that. So it's more Loosey goosey. I'm not running through it. I'm just going as guided because a lot of these videos I'm I'm I do my best to stay on point and um, even though they can be long uh, it is about um, you know delivering you the proper information for any given video and so I separate these out so it's not this really really long video of getting cards and talking about all that and then getting into the energy update so if you're interested in watching uh, the process of these cards coming out and I highly recommend it this reading was awesome and it's for the collective so any and all signs this message is for you and or messages I should say are for you and um, it's very specific to the Stargate so please check that out if you're so guided watch me get a bunch of cards I worked with the uh, uh, Moonology uh, deck the Archangel's Oracle and the Sacred Geometry Oracle. And where are those cards at right now? Oh, right here. Right here. And the Hidden World and the Toth Tarot. Um, so there was quite a bit of cards and a lot of awesome messages. So I highly, highly suggest that you check that out. Okay, so on to the energy update and what's going on with this Stargate. So it's all about change coming in and that's what every Stargate is. It's about uh, solidifying, collapsing, and creating new timelines. Oh, I need to... Doop. Sorry. Don't mind me. And creating new timelines. And so that my timelines, I look at my... my um, my timer here not going I uh, just like to keep track of time because I can't see the, t the time anywhere else so I have a totally separate timer on my computer now anyhow time <laughs> timelines creating solidifying timelines and so what any Stargate is about is just that it's about things coming up to the surface and and creating change in the micro and the macro scale and how we're all very connected in our timelines. And so it's a very intricate and, and detailed matrix of energy that goes on. And the stargates um, help us sift through what no longer needs to be there and add energy to what is or what's incoming. Also with Stargates, it's about activating, integrating, and downloading um, information like codes, 
for ourselves and uh, lifting into a new level of awareness and ascension for ourselves and evolution and soul connection and understanding just with ourselves, number one. And then eventually as we move forward, um, just everybody has our their own, I shouldn't say eventually, but typically we we all get in this place of solitude hermit dark night of the soul needing to heal and that being much more solitary even if you're around other people it's like this is something you're going through singularly individually um so anyway once this happens and we can um and we are more integrated with our own divine knowing and wisdom and soul story and understanding of ourselves on a higher level then we can really start integrating more with other people on that level and and have it be um you know the high vibrational energetic type relationships that are uh well even if even if they're not, let's say they're, they could still be very divinely guided. So it's not necessarily like that's the um, criteria. But ultimately, especially when we're talking about divine unions, um, you know, in really intimate relationships or, you know, and sexual romantic relationships, ideally we're all at a higher level and able to... Um, connect without so much fear and get get into places of deep places of of uh intimacy and vulnerability and going really deep in our energy and how we connect uh if we think about it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> if we think about it this way we have um We have the opportunity to rise in our consciousness very intentionally, but it's typically being afraid of being uncomfortable. It just dealing with things we don't we we'd rather not do. So we tend to kind of it can get complacent in in ascension. And, and we all kind of go through these little pockets of time or whatever. But stargates force the issue, force the feelings up, force things to, you know, with more pressure, more, more intensity for things to rise. Now, <clears throat> for more information on stargates, I'm not going to get too deep into the the basics of stargates in general i do have a video on that and there will be a link in the video probably at the end or i'll put it in a card or all three however i'm guided but watch that video on stargates i highly recommend it it'll really help your understanding with what goes on every single month okay <clears throat> every single month we don't just have a couple of stargates a couple of portals we have them every single month, starting on January 1st, ending on December 12th. They go for 10 days plus a landing day. So 11 straight days of a very different set of circumstances within the energy that we're dealing with and how we're moving through the universe. So it's really important to the best that you understand that or the better you understand that the easier time you'll have within the Stargate and after every single month <laughs> and my throat <coughs> is really bothering me suddenly um acting up okay i have been talking for kind of a while here <laughs> um okay so let's get right to what is incoming so really i'm um, bringing in change a new beginning um new beginning is coming or a new start is coming is is I'll, sh I'll show you this. I don't want it. This isn't going to be a, a getting into cards thing. If you want to see the cards, watch the other video. But I will show you that one just because it was, it was, um, a very big focal point here. A new start is coming and that's truly the way of it. A new start is coming. New, new, uh, <laughs> 
new challenges, new begin like the new beginning and what and how beginnings are. It's like things getting going. And the fifth month of the year is the the time where things really start moving in our year. And I get more detailed into that in the actual video that, that I got with the cards. So I'm not going to repeat myself here with that. Um, but things really get going in May and every single year. And so <sighs> the inertia of energy to move us forward after we're putting the last year to bed and we're starting to put things in order in this new new year we get to a point where it's like okay things are kind of set let's get going now and things start moving and moving towards the change that we've been setting up from the beginning and just keeps on going and going as we move through but as the year goes, we go from this, like, let me do it from your perspective. We go from these, like, this big, wide, these big, wide possibilities with January 1st. And then when we get to December, it's much tighter because we've, we've cut off all these other possible timelines that did not happen. And we are on a, a very uh, specific track for that set of, of stargates and and timelines and then when we get to january it opens back up again so it's constantly doing this action pushing us through the um uh time and space and the the matrix of energy so because time isn't linear it bounces off itself and it pushes off itself it's not it's not every moment created equal and everything is in a is in a direct you know before and behind type of way truly it's it's a web of energy uh and how that works so here we are with may coming in to be the big the the, the big first push forward and wherever you are on your journey and in your in your uh on your path we're going to be faced through the stargate with these things coming up to take us in to the direction that we're on the level i guess you could say at the frequency that we're that we are are truly stationed and in this in these 11 days we're being kind of pushed and pulled in different ways to kind of be in bed. Like, where is our true neutral, our true, ba our true balance? And if you've been feeling these last couple days a little bit more on edge or uh, more sensitive in the body, needing more rest, needing to lay down and take a nap, this is all very much Stargate energy. Also... <laughs> what else um let me tell you about i'm being guided to tell you about my my day today and what happened so you can understand like what is happening on an energetic level so i was i i, I started i was getting i had a long meeting with a client and then i um i ate did some stuff and i was gonna get into actually the doing um, a couple of other things and then the the this whole thing but I was just like I just really need to lay down I need to lay down I need to lay down it's like I I did not sleep very much last night um because also I guess I could back up to there stargates tend to really thin the veil so you can really get incoming energy clearer and um so it always happens in like and be right before and right in to the beginning or the couple days into the beginning of the Stargate where it's like a knock on the door and my guides all my my tribe shows up for a powwow and um so that's what happened last night and that kept me up very late like past four o'clock in the morning so when I woke up right before nine I was like oh like that like hangover feeling like you're just not rested and I was and I had to get up and I was like oh man this is gonna be a tough one um and I actually 
felt a lot better than I thought I would for those first few hours, but I definitely got tired. And so I was guided to lay down. And once I settled in bed, I, I very quickly started feeling from, you know, my legs would just start buzzing and energy just all the way down my legs. And it was so impossible to like ignore. Um, so there's that going on. And then, oh, also right at my, um, my root and my sacral started to get like shots of energy and, um, and then my energetic wings, um, was also going off. So your rhomboid area right at your shoulder blades, like it's about that big from the bottom of your shoulder blades to the top of your shoulder blades on either side of your spine, obviously. And that's where your heart chakra energy is meant to, to move through and out of the body as it ever expands your heart chakra and your third eye chakra are ever expanding. So, um, anyhow, I started to get hot spot shots there as well. And I was like, oh, wow, what is going on here? This was a major, like, um, indication of, of the incoming energy, the light codes coming in. So as that was going, so after that, that went on and I tried just because I know what it is like back in before I was awoken and I was really sick with fibromyalgia for forever. Um, I would have not, of course, understood it. I would have been really restless and, and just like, I don't know. It's just when you know what, why your body is doing a certain thing, it really, really helps. And so this is very much a stargate happening and where you're gut, where you get tired, you're guided to lay down or it happens at night when you're trying to go to sleep, when your body's finally not moving and the, the encodements, the light codes, the activations, the downloads can start coming in and filtering into your body and your energetic body, your spiritual body on all levels. And so you're gonna feel it on some level. You may not, you know, feel it the way I do, but because of who and what I am, I pick up on these energies and I check in. So it's like, is this, you know, just me or is this the collective or is this one other person? Like, what is it that I'm feeling? Because I feel in my body exactly what you feel in your body exactly how you feel it and you multiply that by the collective as i meant to integrate transmute and assimilate energies also for the collective not just for myself i get this overall impression of what is going on with people so you may um feel all of the the things that i'm talking about or just a few of the things that i'm talking about but these things are felt by those um that are being that are you know specifically well it can be felt by anybody but most specifically uh those that are on that awakening path to really understand and integrate with their their soul and their guides so they can carry out their soul missions so any my cat a little bit ago started to get really hyper <laughs> she's definitely seeing stuff <laughs> She's playing with fairies, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, um, after that went on for a while with my legs uh, and my root and my sacral and um, no, actually it was more of that at first. And then it shifted. It shifted to um, up the upper part of the body. Uh, yeah, that's how it went. So sorry for being confusing, but it shifted to the upper part and was also, um, I felt like right at my spine. Sometimes it's easier to feel your chakras actually on the back of your body than the front of your body, which is really interesting because most like drawings and designs and stuff of chakras show the person from the front of the body. But a lot of times it's easier to feel the energy in the back. But anyhow, or through the spine, because it's just 
there and we don't have all these organs in the way so it just really depends on what's going on but typically light code type stuff you will feel more in the back of the body um because that's where the, it's coming in through your ascension column your spinal cord and um and that's how it it kind of all activates with your chakra and the chakras and integrates into your energetic um centers I'm like what's the word energetic centers and starts to integrate and filter through the body on a on a subconscious and then conscious level as it's meant to so as the files are meant to be accessed um through the stargate or beyond is when that it'll start to come in so as the, the incoming um a, uh, light codes activations and downloads start coming in and penetrate Whoa, kitty. What in the hell? You need to calm down. Come on. Oh my God. She's so freaking hyper. Sorry. <laughs> She's like, somebody gave her some kind of crazy drug. I um, mean, she's just hyped up on energy. Um, and whoever else she's playing with. Anyway, so as the energies come in, they're just they're they they just come into the body. So it's not like you know you're getting a download and you're like, oh, this is what's happening. Sometimes you do, of course, but most likely it's just it's hitting the body in a really um, could be very intense. And so, or you'll wake up feeling like you worked out, <laughs> kind of thing. Like you're just like, oh man, my body can feel heavy, tired. Um, you just needing a lot of rest because when you're at rest is when you are actually um, processing through the energy and it can come in and do what it's meant to do. When you're moving and you're going about your day and da 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 da, it's not, it's really not. You need to be at rest for the, for the encodements and the activations to come in. So that's why I say listen to your body is so important because if you're being guided to rest, whether you only got like four or five hours of sleep or you slept for 10, if you're guided to lay down again, if you just slept like three hours and you've been up for two hours and you're guided to lay down for two or three more hours, so be it. If that, if you're lucky enough to be able to take advantage of that, please do or, or go to bed extra early just so you can get that downtime, that rest time. And it's really, really important. Um, so anyway, uh, you will have these like, uh, you will be experiencing, um, at, at the least that sort of like feeling like this like crash kind of feeling and it will feel sometimes like it's just comes on very suddenly and it's different than being around like an energy vampire it's not like that it's just you just have this overwhelming desire to lay down to rest and and you just know that that's what needs to happen maybe not sleep because after a while me laying there i'm like maybe i'm just not supposed to sleep because it's not going to happen and it was like yeah for right now just take in the energy and then you'll be able to once it all comes in then it'll stop and then you'll be able to sleep so if you get into bed to rest and all of a sudden you're restless and your body's itching and you get these weird pains in different places, like they could be pokey pains. They can be like, like, um, fiery kind of pains. They can be pinchy kind of pains. They can, um, and I say pain just because it's like this weird sensation that your body's doing and it can be frustrating, aggravating. Um, you can feel like, you know, just because you can't rest and stuff like that, but just give it like 15, 20 minutes and trying to stay still, trying to connect with the body, connect with your guides as this is happening. Uh, you know, just start to, to meditate on a level and allow the body to take these incoming energies. And I promise you, if you stay there in that pocket, um, you will be able to sleep after and you will crash and you will crash hard. It'll be this like, oh, this like, you'll just be gone. You'll just be boop lights out you'll be gone and so and then you'll wake up whether it's 45 minutes an hour hour and a half later however long it needed to be to you know give you that 
that rest that was needed, then, you know, that's when, you know, you'll pop back up and you'll be good. Um, other than that, you'll probably be guided. Keep it simple with your diet. This usually happens in a stargate because of the incoming energies. It's hard to process heavy, dense meals. So, you know, try to stay away from animal products as much as possible. Um, meats especially, and chicken does count. I'll ask people if they eat meat. They're like, no, I eat chicken. I'm like, that is meat. <laughs> Like, that is it. If it's flesh from an animal, that is considered me. So, um, and I do have a video coming next up in my empath series is about diet. So, and, and definitely animal products and meat. Um, so try to keep it simple. You'll probably be guided to fruits and vegetables and salads and that kind of thing. Um, don't avoid avoid carbs if your body is craving potatoes or or bread. Um, try to keep it like don't eat Wonder Bread. <laughs> eat good bread. The good you know bakery fresh bread. Sourdough is great because it doesn't have like. The gluten in it or very little gluten in it and it tastes delicious <laughs> and um so try to get some you know get that if you're being guided to it uh definitely staying in balance as far as your uh your food intake you may go through periods where you're really really um feels like you just you're hungry a lot or you just really don't have an appetite and you're just like little bites here and there is what you know is feeling good for you like more of a grazing kind of kind of thing um what else is coming through uh you may not you may be kind of having an aversion for a bit and just wanting to do the basics on your computer or phone even that you're just wanting to stay kind of out of that realm um and that's just because it can be chaotic on the brain and a lot of th that light is is disruptive um to the third eye and so you'll just naturally not want to to be on the computer um that definitely happens to me and this is why it takes me a long time to to write articles these last few months because my the the energy from the electronics the light from the electronics is in direct like I'm hearing like direct violation of what's going on on a physical and organic and energetic level within my own body. So it's kind of disrupting. And so I, ha so I'll get very specific pockets of time to, to like where it's like, okay, now computer work when it's, when it's not going to be so, um, energetically <sighs> heavy on me. I don't know if it is such a basic word, but that's just kind of how it feels sometimes. So, um, Anyhow, so you may get some of that. Uh, definitely do your best to keep your water intake nice and high, more than usual. Uh, you can infuse your water with sage, with bay leaves, with mint leaves, with um, just a, a, ta a, a titch of honey if you want to every once in a while. Lime, lemon. Um, I keep a sugnite crystal in my in my water all the time um, to help clear it of energy and I'm I try to drink as much water it's like water has taken over as like my number one drink um, recently and I'm definitely feeling really good about that it's helping me flush things out etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so this last portion I want to talk about like what may be coming up for you um, during the stargate. And I talked a little about it, like things coming up to the surface. But specifically in this stargate, <clears throat> what is coming in is the need to release uh, our pains of the recent past. So any um, negatively charged situations with others or um, circumstances with the pandemic or job or or you know any kind of relationship stuff if you can think of that was 
that caused a disruption in your field, a lower vibration, being upset, being defensive, having to get offensive, um, confrontations, anything like this that you may have had with people or when you think back and you think, you know, there was this or this, if you had breakups, if there was um, dissolutions of, of things, of partnerships and stuff like that, which very well could have been a reality for a lot of people especially the pandemic being a catalyst for that it doesn't have to be the reason but that definitely happened to to rearrange a lot of things <clears throat> in our world and so you will be getting if and you probably already have um a little bit where, you know, thinking about certain situations and people kind of reliving those energies, um, guides coming in and kind of showing you different things or synchronicities about stuff of the past, uh, being guided <clears throat> to look at certain things that will remind you of people or events of the recent past. When I say recent past, I would say going back to uh possibly i'm i'm feeling like um september september of 2020 through current would be in that time period of the energies that would be coming through to be like to get your attention to have you think about things or people events experiences again um to really wanting you to disconnect these energy cords either you know if, if it makes sense to reach out to people if it makes sense to just you know cut cords and if you haven't cut cords with people very specific people that you know are coming up then that's an indication that you need to cut cords with them or reset cords with them or um, reach out to them uh, make amends with them uh, clear the air with them something if this thing keeps if you if you do keep feeling this energy and it will feel uncomfortable it'll feel like there's something that needs to happen there it's not just like this blowing through of emotions or energy and then it just goes away it'll hit and it'll hit and it'll hit and it'll hit and eventually you'll be like okay i need to do something about this instead of just and don't don't allow it to take over your frequency by reliving this situation with this person or, or experience or whatever, but take it from a, a more detached point of view of what's of what is a remnant of the energy in the physical and energetic and spiritual body that needs to be uh, rectified and transmuted or and assimilated in some way there's unfinished business there and the body is not going to be at its highest possible frequency to receive the incoming light codes like we talked about if there is dissonance so your body your spirit your guides whatever all of it is coming through to say hey you need to take care of this stuff um, and when you do it will help with the situation in one way or another this is where people tend to you know get defiant get stubborn get in denial get angry push things away and that is creating timelines so think about how you react to the information the the uh, the stuff coming to the surface and what that makes you feel what that makes you think what that makes you um remember uh you know and get real about the, what i call the real feels get real about how you feel don't be in judgment of it just see it for the truth of what it is what is that and what do you need to do with that do you need to write an email do you need to place a phone call do you need to send a text do you need to um delete and block do you need to uh you know do a meditation do a ritual do a cord cutting um hire a healer to help you sort things out like whatever it is um prioritize i'm being pointed at the, another card that we got prioritize um focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated this also applies definitely 
to your health? What is your highest priority? That is your health. And what do you need to do to sort that out? You do actually need to get organized in your head about it and and come to a determination and an or and an organized way of thinking about what's happening in, within you. And um, you will, as you go through those motions, there will be peace. Being guided to show you this card too. We we are coming into a place where we need peace. And peace is happening for us through this Stargate. Um, again, the messages that we got with the cards were really, really awesome. And so um, I, I finished that, which is the biggest smile on my face because the energy was so awesome coming through. But there is a component of, of the negative energy within us that we need to deal with. So all the other stuff can take place. So the new beginnings can come in. So the new unions can come in or, or stronger unions with people that were, that are in our lives. So even if there isn't like a, like, you know, you're no longer connected to somebody and their, you know, their energy is coming through. This could be with the people that you're very much still, you know, in your life, but that if something's coming through, like let's say you, 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 your family, brothers and sisters, parents, whatever, and you talk to all of them, but there was like some kind of friction, but it, you know, kept going and whatever and stuff, but it keeps on like dinging your bell this means that there's energy there that needs to be reset with the with this person or people because there's friction there. Where there's friction, there isn't flow. Just remember that. Where there's friction, there isn't flow. You have to have flow in your energy body to be able to be at that wellness level. You have this like circulatory energy thing that's supposed to happen. Again, that infinity symbol crossing right at the solar plexus. And when things are blocked in that regard from the top up and the bottom and the top down we we're not able to be at our at our optimal maximum level of being able to receive information you know put one foot in front of the other with the highest possible you know on the highest possible timeline and again the stargate is meant to figure out what are our highest possible timelines how are we dealing and how are we reacting to what's coming up and triggering us through energy um, you may have felt a couple days ago just more agitated, a shorter fuse, just not, you know, feeling a little out of sorts, things coming up and bothering you that, you know, don't normally or, you know, any kind of stuff like that where you're just like, yeah, I feel like I'm just like it happened to me a couple days ago. I, I And I knew that this was energies being brought up to the surface because I just woke up and I was pissy. And I was just like, oh, these are energies coming up. I can feel it. We just started the Stargate. And it was. And I was just like crackly. It's kind of like full moon on crack kind of energy. Like take the full moon and really enhance that energy. So um, as you can see from, from the beginning, uh, I think it was trying to remember where the dates were with our full moon but our full moon at the beginning of the year I think was just like right around the right around the first let me take a look so it's we started off with that kind of energy and it's moved away so our stargates are moving so it's like the full moon is going backwards in time so it's like 28 27 26 25 it's going this way and our um, stargates are moving forward in time so the next one is six six seven 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 eight so we're not going to have these intersections of energies with full moon and stargate this year we did um, last year uh, because of the nature of the energy that's happening oh yeah full moon was on the was also was on the 28th for for january 2021 um so this month in in may it's on the 26th and uh it is also uh a full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. So a lot of fire energy plus that reset with the eclipse. We're also feeling that eclipse energy um, radiating up from the end of the month up into the, the Stargate. It's so potent. It's like it's far away, but we are, we do feel these these energies and this is about resetting of emotional energy, resetting of um, of that divine 
um, kind of more that divine feminine aspect. And I just saw 4444 on my, or 444 on my timer, um, really talking about that balance of energies between um, or within us to be able to integrate these energies that are coming in. So there's that. We do have the new moon, however, on the 11th, right in the Stargate. And so that makes perfect sense because uh, we, we need that really intense new moon energy uh, in the Stargate to, to, to uh, help balance us out. It's just, it's like that, it's that opposite polarity that that we have in the Stargate for new beginnings, but without like extra push, if that makes sense, because we are already dealing with the Stargate. And this uh, new moon is on the 11th. It's an 11, 11, 11, like activation day. It's like big time. So we just had the, we're in the 5, 5 Stargate, the 5, 5, 5 Stargate. Within the 5, 5, 5 Stargate, we have our new moon on the 11th the 11th pillars of creation activation within the stargate so that's going to be extremely intense and that is on the 11th or sorry <laughs> it's on the on tuesday so um pay special attention to how you feel for that m new moon and even the day before and the day after really um, it's going to be really interesting to see what that's like in this stargate i can't tell you exactly how it's going to be but um, I feel and what I'm hearing is a very zero point type of suspended energy where it feels like we're just kind of hovering there. I wouldn't be surprised if the if the time moving that day was slowed down and and it felt like a long day not in a bad way not, but there's days that are faster and there's days that are slower and it feels like that to me and i feel that zero point that like cr crossing intersection for the like for the infinity symbol so uh pay attention to that as well because that is in our stargate uh and again uh the stargate ends on the 15th and uh, as we move into the Stargate and through the Stargate, you'll see how things are moving around you and, with, and within you. Just try to keep that balance. Keep it simple as far as your, um, well, as far as everything, actually. Really do your best to connect on a daily basis. Gratitude is the best attitude to have through this. So you can keep yourself grounded. Do what you can to connect with Gaia. And I'm getting a chime in here that I will be doing a Stargate meditation, probably putting that out tomorrow um, or today <laughs> on the 8th of um of the month and so i highly recommend that you do that that stargate meditation will help you integrate with the energies help you release energies help you get grounded with gaia and i have a feeling it's going to be a really cool one and if you haven't done the full moon meditation please do that one it's never too late to do any of the guided channeled astral meditations that i facilitate um but that is the last one that i did it's the full moon and it was it's truly one of my very favorite it's it's so di it's different and and um definitely listen to the go through the oracle before the meditation because it's very much an integration of those messages within the um the uh <laughs> with the meditation sorry <laughs> Kind of glitched out. I got a bunch of stuff just hitting me as I'm like, normally I can get incoming information and keep talking without it throwing me off, but that it didn't. I was like, what? Like, what are you saying right now? <laughs> oh my God. It was showing me this card and I was like, okay, so am I supposed to go over this card again or and it because i started talking about that meditation and the oracle and thinking about that oracle and immediately it threw me to this oracle that i pulled tonight uh as i was trying to talk so sometimes that's hard to <laughs> excuse me um 
so yeah so we got so i'll close this video with um sh sharing with you the card that we got from the hidden worlds oracle it is the 17 fairy energy growth expansion a flowering so take a look at that so pretty and we are the flower and that fairy energy that light that energy coming straight to us um so so beautiful so i do pick this card this card is uh either i think it i can't remember if it fall, honestly i can't remember if it fell out or if i if i pulled it out but anyhow I do go over this in the first video at the end, but I was just guided to go through it in this video. For those of you who won't, who aren't, or don't have time, or don't get through, whatever <coughs> of that, the longer um, tarot and oracle one, I will take you through this oracle here. And now just pay attention to that moon, the tree, the rolling hills. I mean, when I say that tree, that tree in the background, the trees here. Um, in the foreground and that flower and all the little flowers that are around of course the fairy okay <coughs> so uh <laughs> The time has come for you to expand and come more fully into the being you can be. You are being offered the energy of opening up, of expansion, of flowering from the world of nature and the fae. Who will be sending energy to you for you to drink in? This will lead to a sense of confidence and inner warmth, which will extend out from you. You will feel open and safe to share who you are, and there will be a sense of speaking more, sharing more, opening up and expanding expecting not so much support from the world of the humans but support from the world of the unseen ones these are the beings who as they open up the life force within the blossoming world can also turn that energy to the humans they love of whom you are one so the beauty you now share with the world will change the world. You will offer something kind, something loving, and something true. The world about you will blossom in return, and this feeling will extend into the people who are around you. There will be a time of love, a time of caring, a time when people are drawn to the radiance and beauty of your soul, which shines into the world. This gift is from the fairy, but the love and blossoming you experience is simply what is meant to unfold from within you the fae do this without expectation for you as you are like a human flower to them thank them and care for the natural world in return and this exchange of energy will flow on and on for it is drawn from an infinite source of love and illumination open up like a flower for you have so much beauty to show the world actually put that in the first person like a mantra i open up like a flower i have so much beauty to show the world i like that better so take that to the first person i open up like a flower i have so much beauty to show the world it is absolutely 100 percent true and these messages are are like so right on point with what's coming through so just um open up to the incoming energies that are meant to really propel you forward to be your guide and another thing that came through while I was reading that this time it didn't make me glitch out was um that on the reverse side of you th of you like uh, having people from your past or situations that need to be taken care of or whatever it is or just people that you've kind of lost touch with or it doesn't matter what it is um that you may get the push to extend yourself or reach out or oh excuse me or whatever that that reverse may happen so you may all of a sudden be hearing from people or whatever and um be you okay i swear sometimes she does it strictly for attention um see she stopped 
<laughs> um, so you may be uh, being, you know, so here. It could be passive, you know. It doesn't have to be like straight up. It could be somebody or people coming in to kind of test the waters in different ways. Maybe liking a social post or following you again or forward you an email or something like that that just like there's like oh this person all of a sudden or you know and and that's very much a, a, a um what's it called a, a stargate situation so you'll need to assess you know how you know is this something to follow is this a string to pull or is it a string to cut and not you know not extend energy to this person as well as you know like you know what I mean like just because somebody shows up in some way shape or form doesn't mean you need to you know acknowledge that um if it, especially if it's more passive if it's like uh if it is direct or direct connect then um you'll have to definitely treat that differently but whatever it is uh probably a direct approach is best unless you feel like that would cause too much friction otherwise it's what I call the bob and weave which is you know you're being guided away from that person or energy for whatever the reason is and you don't no you don't you're not obligated to give a um an explanation if you're not guided to if you're guided to to just back away slowly and quietly and just let it be what it is and not respond you know that may be the best course of action you're just going to have to assess that or you may be guided to just really hit it head on and deal with it and see what's there to rectify the the situation so that could be coming up or if not it already have has happened on some level but you you can expect that um, again, not for everybody, not every single one of these things that I'm talking about will be a factor in everybody's lives, but it, it, these are the themes that are coming up and what I'm guided to share with you. Aside from this message with the fairy, that it is a time of growth, expansion, new beginning. So again, this reading was awesome. I hope you have the time, take the time to receive these messages in a more detailed, um, way the the kind of the prelude to this energy update um and is there anything else i would say you know also mother's day is on the 9th that is going to be um i would pay close attention to the energy mother's day tends to be a heavier day energetically it's one of the actually the heaviest days of the year um, it has a very different resonance and frequency to it than Father's Day. Like to contrast that, that's happening next month. Uh, Mother's Day tends to have a much more heavy, heavy energy to it. But this is 2021, so who knows what's going to happen for Father's Day. But definitely what I've noticed over these last few years is Mother's Day on Sunday, the 9th this year, is definitely a heavy day. And please um, just honor yourself, your emotions. You may be extra emotional if you're a physical empath or, a, or an empath of any of any kind. Hi! of any type um you'll definitely probably be picking up on the energy and the collective because that tends to happen so just you know go with the flow there just know that that's kind of a thing there is a bit more heaviness and melancholy to the energy on mother's day because of just what it invokes in people whether it's whether it's you know a deep mother wound that that we have with our mothers or it's a it's a deep love we have or a, or a grief we have or uh, if they're no longer with us. You know, it's just a heavier day. You know, if we're mothers ourselves and what that feels like to be a mother and to have children, it's just there's a lot there to unpack. And Mother's Days tend to be heavier. So just FYI on that. And lastly, I'm going to let you know that the next um, the next pick a readings, which I really enjoy doing are coming up and we're going to be getting into geometric shapes and messages from our divine feminine um and i'm super excited about it the first and i was guided let me turn the light on here 
I was guided to uh, start working with dice and my divination and not just any dice, but really cool geometric um, shape dice. And so this is going to be the first one that the first choice. This is a doctahedron, and it's a 12-sided um, uh, geometric shape. And then the next one is an octahedron. Isn't that so cool? So they're sparkly with purple and gold, and they have numbers on them. And the next one is an icosahedron. Oops, sorry. Icosahedron. It's a 20-faced um, geometric shape. So that'll be an option. And then the last one is a trapzoc... Trapzoc... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Take four. <laughs> Trapzo... Hedron. I think I'm saying that right. I, it's a tongue twister. Trapsohedron. And that is 10 faces. Let me get that here. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this one. On every level. <laughs> so there's that one. So coming very soon for you from in the Stargate. Probably tomorrow actually. Is going to be a Divine Feminine. Uh... Pick a car or pick a, a geometric shape. So look out for that. <clears throat> and I'm being guided to shut this down because my throat is tired and energies have been really flowing. I hope that this uh, energy update has given you some uh, insight, some validation, some understanding of what you may already be experiencing with a couple days in or a few days into the Stargate. Please comment below. Um, leave questions, comments, and your experience. Or if Stargates are new to you, again, please check out my video specifically on Stargates and what they are every single month. It's really important to understand that. Also check out my Empath series. Uh, more, uh, Many more coming in that. As well as uh, my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for ebooks, guided astral self-healing meditations, a lot of information on energy, energy healing, me, what I can do for you. Check out my services section. I offer lots of services from healing, mediumship, channel, all that stuff of course private one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, tarot and oracle reads and I do work worldwide with people and their animals and their oh and I do have uh, here for about another week the option to um, have a mediumship session with me 30 or 60 minutes to connect you with your loved ones and um check that out it's on special it's a spe very special special is what i've been calling it majorly discounted service to at this time with the it's to celebrate mother's day is a uh, very special connection for you for mediumship one of the one of my favorite things to do actually so check that out and again stay tuned for the meditation for the stargate coming tomorrow as well as the divine feminine uh pick a uh geometric shape i am really looking into that that was another download that i got today for what is next on my to-do list i hope you're uh well and happy and stay grounded and grateful and connected with gaia Again, I'm Infinity. Thanks so much for being here. Until next time, infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.